from the United World Organization, Mark. Tuning in. Hello, Nautilus. We have received a report of some sperm whales not far from you. A freighter accidentally bumped one of the whales and apparently injured it. A freak accident, I'm afraid. One in a thousand. Keep a lookout. Sonar signals about a mile out. Mm, right, Rob. I can see some action there already. What do you think is happening? I think we'll find that the healthy whales are taking turns keeping the injured one afloat. How come? Well, you see, whales have to breathe air. That means getting their heads above the surface. If they stay under too long, they can drown. Wow, look at that. He's a giant. That might have been some collision. <laughs> right, kids. He's as long as a six-story building is high. How long can they keep him up? Well, that's hard to say, Chris. Right now, the danger is over there. Sharks! No, Robbie. Take a closer look. Something even more dangerous than sharks. Killer whales. Right, Chris. Killer whales. They thought killer whales aren't dangerous. They have them in aquariums. People swim with them and train them to do tricks. That's true. Killer whales are really a type of overgrown porpoise. Not dangerous to people, at least so far as we know. But that doesn't mean they're not dangerous to a wounded whale. Will they attack? Not likely, as long as the other whales stay to provide protection. All this action has attracted some other prowlers too, Mark. Look! Sharks. That wounded whale is giving off distress signals. There must be something we can do. Those whales are capable of defending themselves. But the odds against them are pretty high with killer whales and sharks to watch out for. They've left the wounded whale, Mark. He's sinking. We'll just submerge here and pretend that we're a whale ourselves. How do you mean? We'll just glide under the whale. carefully take him back up to the surface. I hope the rest understand we're trying to help. Here come the killer whales. Keep going. We're nearly to the surface. Those killer whales are getting angry, Mark. We're stealing their lunch. These sperm whales seem content to leave us with the problem. Here come the sharks. And we're right in the middle. Now, the sharks are not nearly as brave as the killer whales. They'll wait until they're sure this fellow is completely done in before they attack seriously. The sperm whales are coming back. They've scared the killers away. For the moment, anyway. He's moving. He's getting his strength back. I think you're right. Come on. Come on. Breathe in. And there go the killer whales. No, oh, they know better than to get mixed up with a herd of healthy sperm whales. Everybody's gone. One minute, all that activity, and now, nothing. Oh, well, um, if it's activity you're looking for, how about doing the breakfast dishes? Oh, Mark! <laughs>